everyone in this video I'll be showing you how to create a registration page using Dreamweaver for inserting records into my SQL using uh, through PHP alright so what I'm going to do is uh, before opening a new file I'm just going to show you in the control panel here uh, this is the application panel and this is my uh, website which I've already set up you can check my other videos where I've shown how to configure a website uh, in Dreamweaver now I'm going to go to the file menu click on new and under the category I'm gonna choose dynamic pages and PHP I'm going to cl click on create okay and I'm going to click on the application panel and here I've already set up the database this is our database and this is the table it is it is showing all the things that are there in that table alright so what I'm going to do now is I need to bind it I need to create a record set for that alright so I'm going to click on record I'm going to give this one a name say RS register the reason why I'm not showing you how to set up the database because here in this video I'm only going to show you how you can create a registration page without writing any piece of code okay so this is our record set name and I'm and this is the connection name okay and it's going to list the table that are there okay and now I'm going to select these three column names because user ID is uh, auto generated number okay I can click on text to view all the records that I have in the database okay these are all the uh, records of the uh, other users that they have created an account I can click on OK and this is our record set now what I'm going to do is now now the main part starts here okay I'm going to go to the insert menu under insert menu I'm going to come to application object under application object we have this oops we have this insert record see it is a long hierarchy under insert pinum then we have application object under application object menu we have insert and there we go it's insert record insertion from wizard okay here I'm going to uh, choose the connection name from the drop down menu and then I'll choose the uh, registra registration table name and then after inserting where do I want the user to uh, go I'm going to choose a thank you page like it will tell users that they have successfully created an account okay I'm going to click on ok it's just giving me a message that where the, did where the uh, file will be saved I don't want the user ID to be there because it is an auto number it is an auto generated number I don't want the user to type that so I am going to remove this from the list here okay and uh, I can uh, set the name I can set the label here okay I'm going to click on OK and it's going to generate a form for me this is the username and uh, the, the, the text box and password and everything so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to open the properties for this form here okay this is the username what I'm going to do now is set the username for 25 that is the characters allowed here so I'm, to I'm going to give this one as 25 similarly for password for password it is 10 I'm going to give 10 here for maximum characters I'm going to give 10 here and under type category I'm, go I'm going to choose right the password okay and for the insert record I need to change the label to register so we are done with our form I'm going to save this I'm going to give this one as a uh, register say uh, new because I have already created one form here okay and I'm going to go to the file menu preview in browser internet explorer 
Okay, it's going to go and uh, come back to me with the form. I this so that you all can see it. All right, so here we are. I'm going to type it a name as uh, Bill Gates. There's the username, password. It's say Bill Gates. Okay. Texas. All right, I'm going to hit on register button. It's going to give me a message saying that the registration was successful. So now what I need to do is just go to the database and find out if the registration was successful and it indeed captured the data. I'm going. This is the database. I'm going to hit refresh and let's see if the data was there. Well, Gates is right here. All right. Thank you for watching this video. For more videos, you can always check my website that is shown on the screen below where you have lots of other videos where you can learn and you know you can really uh, get things going thank you very much for watching this